Hey everybody, it's Ricky from All Sorts of Words. I have lofty goals for this YouTube channel and I have even loftier goals for my comic collecting. But I have to tell you, if I die nameless, if nobody ever watches any of my YouTube stuff, if this trade is the only thing that comes out of this YouTube channel, it will be 100% worth it. You're going to hear me say a lot of times during this video how I haven't even seen any of these books in person, and it's absolutely true. So this is, this is huge. This is an enormous get for me. I couldn't be happier. And so aside from the people that I normally thank, all of the viewers, I have to thank David from Still Only 35 Cents. This trade mutated from an equal exchange of goods between comic book nerds into an act of kindness that I, I, I couldn't possibly imagine. This was an incredible once in a lifetime deal. Just about every single aspect of this trade was recorded. So what I'm presenting here to you today is not just the, hey, I traded with a guy and here are the books. I'm about to show you everything. We're gonna start with a video clip of me making a random announcement to the internet that I would trade my House of Secrets 92 for a copy of 2000 AD number two, the uh, first appearance of Judge Dredd. You know what, let's let's see that right now. Yeah, that's Ooh. a great one. Rohan, this is on your list for this year, right? Yeah. I think that's one of the greatest covers of the Bronze Age, period. It's probably the best cover of the Bronze Age. <laughs> I, I am not a fan of Swamp Thing. That is a pure cover by I, that's how much i, I don't like, blame you at all it, it, it just it's so good this i would statement. trade you this wow that's for a what? big bold statement there ricky i i would i would go for a, like a mid-grade like bone number one i would do it i would do a one for one if you had a first print bone number one i'd do a trade for that i would do if ooh, come on motherfucker here it comes i will I, I'm making this to the internet. If anyone sees this and I haven't done this, I want this trade. I will trade you this for a clean copy of 2000 AD Prague number two, the first appearance of Judge Dredd. If it's a, if it's a clean copy, if it's just a mid-grade copy, I will call that an even trade. I'll shake your hand. And then after that happened, David from Still Only 35 Cents left this message. Aw, that's a nice message. But then he followed it up with this. Uh, and then here's where the clips end. I'm going to put the links for his two 2000 AD Judge Dredd videos that I made with him uh, below in the description because I'm, I'm never going to bite off somebody else's views. And so he puts a lot of effort into his production as well. So I want to make sure he gets the credit. But if you want to see the complete breakdown of what issues one through whatever the hell of 2000 AD look like, plus um, the ending credit scene effectively where he goes over what he's going to be sending me and what I'm going to be sending him. Please go over to stolen 35 cents and watch the video. Now we get into the weird stuff. The next clip I'm going to show you, I was uh, literally eating a cheeseburger on my couch. Well, I'm, I'm doing keto in case you haven't been following. So it was a burger with cheese. There, there, was no, there was no bun. But I was eating the burger when the FedEx truck rolled up with the package. And this was my reaction. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's here, it's here. Look, 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 look. The FedEx truck is still literally in the driveway. I was way too excited. I had to, ah, it's here. Look, look at this. Look at this. I'm going to lose my mind. And then I scrambled to set up my camera and everything that I needed so that I could immediately film the unboxing. So the next video you're going to see, this is the full unboxing of everything I got in the trade. All of that was filmed about three minutes after me freaking out over the FedEx truck. So I invite you, come along and watch what is not only the greatest unboxing of any comic trade on YouTube, but my authentic 40 minute freak out over being able to not only own, but see for the first time in real life, actual Judge Dredd comic books. Hope you enjoy. 
Okay, welcome to the new stage. This is where you can keep an eye on me and my reactions because I'm surely going to freak out. Uh, and you can also keep an eye on my hands. The microphone is here because I don't have a mic arm. I'll get a mic arm eventually, but please find it in your heart to forgive me today. Uh, the box, as you can see, is right here. And <laughs> there's going to be a lot of starts and stops to this because I'm I'm honestly freaking out. This is this is beyond exciting. Um, I'm going to open up the box. I'm going to edit this part out. This is the boring part. And I'm going to put everything that I can stage right over here. So I still have access to my mouse and all that jazz. But this is this is the this is the glory zone where all the books are going to go. But first, let me take it out. I'm going to keep the audio going, uh, even though I might cut some things out, because if there's I don't know how he packed this. So if there's like something closer to the top or something that like immediately jumps out at me, I, I want to be able to react to it too. So give me a minute. I don't know how this is packed at all. It seems there's one part of the box in here that has like, here, I'll show it to you. So a lot of it looks like this, right? This is how he sent it. Ah! This is, here we go. This is how he sent it. Um, Act of, act of kind pack number two, man, I... What did I say? What did I say about this being like borderline an act of kindness? This, ugh, Jesus. Okay, so it is officially an act of kindness. Um, this is the one that seems to be the most special. So we're going to leave this one. We're going to leave this one aside. Look at this thing. This thing. I'm still used to, I, I'm not used to like looking here, looking here, looking here, keeping my hand out of the way. So we're, we're, we're learning this. This is my first one of these types of videos, but this is, this seems to be the super important one. So we're going to set that aside. This is where I want to start because it, it just looks the craziest. No, the tape. Okay. This is this. For anyone who doesn't know, this is what annuals look like in, in Europe. There's these like big hardcover, hardcover books. So let's very carefully. They look like children's books. You know what I mean? They look like honest to God children's books. 85 Euro was born. That's sick. Ugh, we'll deal with it later. But look at this. Look at this art. It's, it's beautiful and wild and crazy. And then it it switches to it switches over to black and white as well. Is Rogue Trooper. Rogue Trooper's first appearance was also in 2000 AD. Here we go. Judge Dredd driven to crime. Sick. Okay. So that is, oh, this, oh, look at that. AOK -okay pack number one. So we, we did it right. Okay. Here's, we'll put this in the background. Let's pull the other annual out. Here is the 84 annual, just right over here. Annuals on the sides. These look like normal sized comics. So I'm, and it said act of kindness number one. So I'm not sure what he sent in this. Oh, sick. He got it. No way. Five and six, seven, eight. Not nine, ten of a V for Vendetta. Look at this: five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten of V, the original V for Vendetta run by Alan Moore. How absolutely insane is that? I keep looking at myself on the computer screen behind this camera. I'll come up with a better setup, I promise, in the future. But this is wild. Oh man. These are sharp too. Wow. These are incredibly sharp. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Act of kindness is right. The eclipse, Mr. Miracle, well, Mi Miracle Man, um, seven and nine, the birth issue. Oh, wow. See, I have, I have all the Marvel reprints of these. And so I, I can, I can read those, but I only have, but so much of Miracle Man. Oh, 10. Nine, seven, eleven. Yeah, look at that. Oh, 
this is this is if you haven't read Alan Moore's Miracle Man and you're an Alan Moore fan, you've done all of the disservice to yourself. You have to read the Miracle Man series. It's Miracle Man is written like a Saturday Night Live joke. It just keeps going. So it's like, yeah, there's a guy who has like Shazam powers. He he says atomic backwards, uh uh Kim Otra or whatever it is. Uh, but atomic backwards is his password. He says it, he becomes like a Shazam character, right? He looks like this. Um, but then the joke continues. Okay, well, Shazam could multiply his powers by giving his powers to other people. So then what happens when he gives himself powers to other people? Well, maybe sometimes they go insane. Maybe he decides to give them to his kids. And then he creates a dynasty of superpowered people that take over everything, but they're benevolent and the world gets weird. And it's like a thousand years in the future. And people who do drugs are called spacemen and they're revered by society because they've sent their mind to the outer limits. Alan fucking more, ladies and gentlemen, it, it is a wild ride and you will not regret if you read it. I promise you. Number 12 oh, and these covers, they're so beautiful. 14. Oh. And this original run, I, 17 it does and it also it has a beginning a middle and an end 18 wow this the, a very sand manny these covers 19 oh my god if that was active pa, active kindness pack number one like i i'm dreaded to think what comes in number two so a-ok -okay pack number two you have no idea what this is doing to my heart. Like David, if, and when you watch this, you've, you've actually put me in physical danger based on how hype I am right now. In case you didn't recognize this, this isn't a mat. I used to play magic and I had a bunch of play mats. I still have all my play mats. It's the only thing I didn't, only thing I didn't get rid of when I got out of magic. Right. But when my wife and I went to uh, Tokyo in 2018, I wanted a magic play mat to bring back with me. You, you couldn't find the damn things. I found one place called Big Magic in, uh, it was called Big Magic and uh, it was in Tokyo and they had a map, but they weren't selling it. At the Tokyo Tower One Piece theme park, which doesn't exist anymore. Hey girl. Um, they had this bath mat. And so I, I, I still keep it. It's a bath mat. It, it's Tokyo Tower since 2015. It's gone now. That's heartbreaking, but um, I, I would love this map forever. Okay. It's okay. Prague number 536. That's something to remember about judge dread. Okay, folks, judge dread is still going. It's in judge dread. The magazine right now is what they call it, but it's still going. And it, it went for, it's gone for years and years and years because they were smaller stories. So 2000 AD, the book, if you didn't know, this has, um, this is made up of like five different stories. Okay. And one of the stories is judge dread. Um, so in here, realistically, you'll get maybe four or five pages of judge dread. So each issue only has about four to five pages of that character and, and his tale. So even though there are thousands of 2080 books at this point, there's only so much story that he's at this point, it doesn't matter. They've, they've crossed the barrier with how much they produced anyway. But when you see numbers like that, don't think that, Oh man, this, this 536 issues dedicated to judge Dredd, not necessarily. This is something that he was actually, um, uh, David was, was introducing me to in his channel about how this is Zenith is apparently a pretty big character in the 2080 books. And it's from the, Ashley collection. You know that? I love it when they write names on it because that's how they, ah, man, another fun fact about these books. That's how they delivered them to people. So your family in Britain would get a newspaper in the mail, right? And if you paid your extra 28p, that's 28 cents, they would fold this into your newspaper and then deliver it like this. And so when they had stacks of them back at the warehouse, when they were putting the magazines into people's stuff, they would write, Ashley, Thompson, whatever. And it's typically the last name. So that is some person named Ashley, uh, presumably last name. And this was their book from a kid. Ah, so cool. We'll put that right there. That was attached to the act of kindness pack number two. 
Okay, you, you have to understand, I, I've never seen any of these books in person. And so to see all of them at once, it feels like I won the lottery. Okay, here we go. The best of Judge Dredd. I can't help talk about him without using like my Duke Nukem voice. That's an amazing cover. I'm, I'm going to be a little haymaker-y back here with the order because I'm going to organize them later. The best of Judge Dredd Monthly. I have the biggest nose in Mega City. Glad to hear it, son. It's about time you had an interest in life. And then there's like this Batman character, Citizen Snork. What the fuck? This shit's so wild. That's a really cool cover. Okay, let's make some more. Let's make some more room. Let's do it. Because I want to start putting up some books. Best of Judge Dredd. Yeah, that, so that's not Judge Dredd. That's Strontium Dog. He's another one of the characters that came out of the 2080 stories. That's a cool one. Um, Synthy Sausage? Man. Just the, just the, 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 the hatching. The little, like this would have taken so long to draw, but man, that frown. Here we go. 2080 monthly. It's alive. Number 26. I haven't even checked to see like if these, if these books are in numbered order. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's 20, 25, 26. Here's 27. Meet Mega City One's contract killers. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that diet special. The food eats you. And this is this is a crispy copy. That's the thing about dealing with David. David has such an eye for these books and, and their high gradeness that it I mean he only seems to want them in high grade. So then when he when he passes these along to me, that is that's too cool. Tomb of Terror, the countdown continues. Look at all that. Okay, I'm picking up a little bit. We're still in the act of kindness, folks. We're not even in the, 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 the trade itself, I suppose. 38. Look at that dapper, dapper gentleman. Nemesis the Warlock. That's Nemesis the Warlock is the name. That is another one of their characters that came out of 2000 AD. Oh, that's tits. That's tits. See, okay, another thing I learned up here, you'll see. I don't know if you can see. You know, maybe this camera is a little more high definition. Let's see. No. Uh, regardless, uh, these are the places it was sold. Uh, Irish Republic, New Zealand, Australia, Malaysia, Venus, Mars, and Neptune. They always put joke ones on there, but it this these didn't come to the States. We were robbed. We were robbed, everybody. Man, just when I think you can't get any better with these dread pictures, but look at that. Wow. Wow. Uh, this looks like that. Is that Nemesis the Warlock? I don't know. I gotta read them. I gotta read them and I'll tell you. Okay. So I'm putting these away. We're just going down the line. We're seeing what we're getting. I, I truly have no idea what order this stuff is in. Um, I, I'm opening it as you can. The only thing I'm saving to the end is that that one in the, the cardboard. Okay. Ah. Uh, Prog 182. This is Block Wars. This is actually made... This, this scene is in the Ar uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jesus, he'd kill me. The Sylvester Stallone Dread movie where he's on the street and he's like, everybody's under arrest. Wow. Oh, we have another Strontium Dog cover. Okay, what number is that? That's 80. No, 182. Okay, so this is 182, 181. 180. Oh. On the Lawmaster. That's what that the motorcycle's called, in case you didn't know. The Lawmaster. And his gun's called the Lawgiver. He's kind of a law-themed guy. 
179, we're still in order. Another strontium dog cover. 178, we're still in order. 177. The something, something, Bagnatan, Bren, Brennan uh, name. 176, still in order. 175. Okay, so these are those are all in order. Uh, okay, we, we finally skipped on 173. And this is a Brian Boland cover. Help me, Judge Red. This planet's sending me to pieces. And he's talking like a pair of lips. He's got his lawgiver trained on it, ready to fire. What a cool guy. 172. 171. The stainless steel rot. 169. Oh, man. You're going to hear me say over and over again, wow, what a great cover, because these are all great covers. Another thing to look for as I'm showing you these covers, look at the dates when you can see them, because these dates are an indication as to like, obviously when it came out, but like the dates are always changing, so you can find your birthday. I'll call them out if, uh, if they're difficult to see. Okay, 168, July 12th. Here is a reason for people to collect Judge Dredd. This is a Star Wars cover. They would do advertisements. This is a Brian Boland Star Wars cover. This is June 21st to 28th. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry. June 80th, Prog 166. They're called Progs, not magazines or comics, because Prog was short for program. 164, May 10th. Happy birthday for the May 10th, people. Awesome Dredd cover. 162, April 26th, another Boland cover, 161, April 19th, happy birthday, 160, uh, April 12th, 159, April 5th, 22nd, March 22nd, 157. March 15th, 156. My God, it's just, it's, it's honestly, I'll be doing this for the rest of the day. Like you're only going to watch like and maybe an hour long video at most, but this is what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Just looking at these. March 8th, 155. March 1st, 154. That's like weird kind of Pac-Man cover. I dig it. Uh, February 23rd, 153. You're next, punk. One Prague 148, January 19th. Prague 146, January 5th. New Year is canceled by order of Judge Dredd. Holiday cover. It's a holiday cover, folks. Prague 145, December 29th, Christmas cover, holiday cover. And Prague 142, December 8th. I'm in that like kind of like weird zoned out state where I'm kind of just like, I've like disassociated a healthy amount so I don't pass out from pleasure. But I want you to know that I'm, I'm not one to freak out. Uh, I, I've met celebrities uh, at conventions that I love and I look so cool when I'm talking to them. I'm like, oh, just totally chill about it. Um, there's two times in my life I emotionally freaked out over geeky shit. One of them was when I met David Hayter in Canada and he signed my Middle Gear Solid poster. I'll show you that one day. Uh, and the I freaked out. And then the other one is right now. I'm fre I'm freaking out. I'm actually kind of like I'm buzzing is the way I would describe it. 
141, December 1st. Sweet Star Trek cover. 140, November 24th. I hope it's fun looking for your birthday. 139, November 17th. 138, November 10th. 137, November 3rd. 136, October 27th. 135, October 20th. 134, this is an amazing cover. 134, October 13th. Look at that. That, like, that's justifiably a tattoo. And 133, October 6th. 132, September 29th. 29th. Awesome. Whatever your crime, Judge Dredd's got a bullet to match. Harm. Armor piercing, high explosive heat, Seeger incendiary, ricochet, ricochet, a bunch that he used in the Dread movie with Carl uh, Urban. 131, September 22nd. 130, September 15th. 129, September 8th. 129, this is a this is beautiful quality. Like this is newspaper shit from the 70s, man. And then it looks this good and it doesn't have like a comic book cover. It just has that that inner paper and for the colors to just pop like this. Uh number 99 uh issue uh, I'm sorry, February 10th. 98 February 3rd. This is uh, Judge Cal. It's short for Caligula, where he's he's called that because he, he gets in power, he becomes head judge, and he goes insane. 97. January 27th. A giant step for comic kind. 2080 and Star-Lord. Uh, Star Lord was a different magazine, not the not the guy who abandoned his dog. Uh, Prog ninety six, January twentieth. Prog forty one, we a huge jump. Forty one, uh, December third. This is nineteen seventy seven. So this is like seventy seven was when Judge Judge Dredd came out. So this is this is really early on in the run. Oh, I just got a preview of the next book after this. I'm going to lose my mind. So get ready for it. Uh, July 9th, 1977, Prague 20. Happy birthday to me. That's my birthday. Me, uh, OJ Simpson, and Tom Hanks, and Michael Jackson, July 9th, 1977. This one is, this is my favorite Judge Dredd cover. And we we actually, I made him, uh, David, open up the book so we could look at the inside. And this is just a text story. So as you're going through the book, this whole cover with all of this story, it's literally a page of text, and that's the whole tale. Awesome. Uh, Prog 19, uh, July 2nd, 1977. Oh, God, are we getting close to number two? I'm going to lose it. Number two is the first appearance of Judge Shred, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot a wax dart out of my dick. Uh, June 25th, Prog 18. We're sub-20. Uh, Prague 16, uh, the capital is underwater, and this is June 11th. Happy birthday. Prague 15, and June 4th, seems to be a man getting like eaten by abominable snowmen. It's pretty sweet. Blech. Prague 14, so flesh is a story about um cowboys who go interdimensional and fight giant monsters so i'm i'm actually really excited about reading flesh uh prog 14 may 28th happy birthday 
Oh, this is the, what is it, Janus Ju Julius uh, Pro Prog 12, May 14th. Prog 9, April 23rd. Prog 6, April 2nd. Happy birthday. This is a key. I know that. Prog 4, um, March 19th. We're down to the wire, folks. We've got one big, big package of these left, and then we go to that cardboard one, and I can't... No joke. If this was it, just these bags and boards, this would be enough. And and to know that somewhere in here, Judge Dredd's first appearance is waiting for us. It's it's it's, it's bacon my noodle. Okay, Prog two sixty three. We're going way into the future. Two sixty three, May eight. Yeah, that's a sick Dread cover on a Lawmaster. Uh, 254, March 6th. Happy birthday. 252, February 20th. Dude fighting a spider. No stinking spider gets the better of me. And that, that, that even started out like a whole original character and it devolved into Duke Nukem because that's, that's how Dread sounds in my head. 247, January 16th. Happy birthday. 245, January 2nd. Two forty two, December twelfth. Two forty one, December fifth. Two forty, November twenty eighth. Also a Brian Bolin cover. Two thirty seven, November seventh. Two thirty five, October twenty fourth. Happy birthday. Two thirty four, October seventeenth. This is a rogue trooper. That's rogue trooper. Um, the dude who's like blue. Two thirty two, October third. 2.30, September 19th. That's another Nemesis the Warlock character. Uh, one of the 2080 characters. This is a sweet Dread cover. 2.29, September 12th. The judges are out in force. Are you there, suspect? Get dicked, nerd. Here we go. This is uh, first appearance of Rogue Trooper. 2.28, September 5th. Here's the most, he's the most feared man on New Earth, Rogue Trooper. I believe he's actually getting a movie. And I think it's an animated movie, but I, I think he is getting a movie. Uh, 227, August 29th. 226, August 22nd. All right, this is a sick one. Prog 224, August 8th. This is the first appearance of the Dark Judges. So the Judges of Mega City 1 and the Judge Dread Universe are all kind of good guys. Some are corrupt, some are crazy. But they're all fighting for their interpretation of law. You know what I mean? This is evil judges from an alter alternate dimension. Fear, death, uh the fire one pyro something i haven't read this far in the trade yet i'm just aware of what they look like um judge death incidentally that's judge death's face uh was the chief inspiration for the batman who laughs that's the first appearance of dark judges really cool 212 may 16th 209 april something is a little bit of roll uh looks like april 5th or 15th, I can't tell. Un-American Graffiti. This is the first appearance of... Oh, this is the Winfield collection. 
This is the first appearance of uh, a character who I haven't gotten to yet, but he's like a sky racer. I think it's his first appearance. Judge Shred Mounts, a clean up. Instead, the cover of the book. This is, this. there we go. Much better. Uh, 203, March 14th. Two oh two, March seventh. Two hundred, February twenty first. That was another thing. Builds up to a giant poster, and so a piece of this image will be in this book. They were actively encouraging kids to hack their books books apart to make posters, and they did that a bunch of times. So another barrier to these books even existing. 199, February 14th, that. Time to die, mighty. That is so tight. And you can just tell that's a Brian Boland cover. Man. I met Brian Boland for Killing Joke, but I met him years ago before I was into Judge Dredd, like literally 2007, I think. And man, uh, I'm, I'm regretting not knowing about Judge Dredd then so I could have talked to him more about Dredd, maybe gotten a sketch or something. 198, February 7th. 197, January 31st. Happy birthday. Cool nuclear war cover and Dread being like propelled off as Lawmaster. 194, January 10th. That's a that's a neat one. Just a bunch of monsters eating Moses. Ooh, 193, January 3rd. That's too cool. Okay. We'll do it like this. I'll finish these up in, by hand so I can, I don't have to keep, I don't want to damage them by overstuffing. Another great Judge Tread cover, uh, Santa. This is a sack, and these are all the 2080 characters, uh, a bunch of them. Uh, that were popular at the time of this printing. So it's like, hey, Merry Christmas. So you can put this up at Christmas time. 192, December 27th. 189, December 6th. Judge Dredd riding up a wall there. 187, uh, November 22nd. In the mean arena, you score first and check your wounds later. Sweet. 185, November 8th. And 184, November 1st. A bunch of apes on top of law, on top of his lawmaster, and Tread saying no one apes the law. Sick. All that's left, all we have left is whatever's in here. Looks like there's a couple progs in here. Even after all that excitement, I'm still, I'm still buzzing, like literally buzzing. Like I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to take a cold shower after this. Oh, I don't even want to look. Okay, there are pull tabs. Wow, he went professional with this. I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look because I, I just... Ah, hit the cameras. I'm sorry. I don't want to look because I just want to be surprised. And all I can see right now is white, and I want to keep it that way. Oh, why are you being difficult? Don't do it, tape. Tape, don't do it. Separation anxiety. <laughs> don't leave me, Dad, please. Ah, that tape was the hero of our story. I don't know how we pack this back front, whatever. So we're just going to, we're going to see it live and look at the camera. Oh yeah. So this is Prague 71, July 1st. This is part one of burger wars. There were two issues that told a story that had a bunch of, Oh, here we go. Here's another address of some, somebody that's getting it in their newspaper. Um, these are two books, uh, that 
until 2016 couldn't be reprinted because they used like Monald Rick Donald or like whatever. And like, you know, uh, they had a, a Colonel Sanders character and it was, it was in the future in this futuristic awful city and uh, of Mega City One and all the different companies who are trying to sell you fast food are literally fighting each other. And so this is, this is great. And then this, this cover introducing the 180 pound judge burger and he's eating judge dread i might read those like literally tonight okay uh looks unassuming right looks just like a oh like yeah there were a bunch of fantasy-ish covers this is the first appearance of judge death judge dead's uh, judge dread's primary nemesis the one that was the inspiration for the batman who laughs this is let's let's see let's see him let's see him ah oh, these are so hardy they're hardy books like i can read these which is like the point there's always a uh, a color section uh whereas primarily the books are in black and white we're looking for death here i bet dread would have been earlier in the book dread was dread was really popular from the jump off yeah, it literally is. There he is. Judge Death. Tell me that doesn't look just like the Batman who laughs. He's a judge who, Judge Death, who believes that since the only people that commit crimes are the living, it is therefore his judgment that life is a crime. And so he will, 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 will kill you. That's Judge Death, 149, 150. This is the first appearance of uh, Judge Anderson. Uh, if you saw the Dread movie, that psychic lady that he's friends with, this this is like his primary partner who also is like the antithesis to Judge Death. Anderson actually got her own couple mini miniseries when they came to the U.S., I know that. Uh, Prague, 150, February 2nd. Sorry, I stopped reading out the dates, but I'm excited. And then, okay, this isn't the first appearance of Dread. I'm not sure this book's significance. I can't remember. But this is Prague 151. Oh, I think this is the third part of the death story. That's what must be must be this. And I know he said he put his sticker on the back. David's channel, still only 35 cents. So this has to be number two. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm holding this. Look at those colors. Look at the colors over here. Look at the colors. It's so bright and beautiful. Let's take a look. Let's look at red. And there's like one staple tear at the top. I don't care. I don't care. And it let's let's find dread. Oh no, this is the first appearance of Dan Dare. And he was the color. They thought Dan Dare was gonna be the takeaway. You had Judge Dread and you thought Dan Dare was gonna be your big book. Okay, I know it's at the end. There he is. First appearance of Judge Joseph Dread. Meet the toughest lawman of them all. And then the back page actually ends in color. And this is the conclusion of the Judge Dread story. Like you're reading the story and it's like black and white, black and white, black and white. And then color. Um, I, I can't even joke right now. I'm going to probably like take a stress nap because like I literally can't. I can't. I can't believe I'm holding this. And it's an, I know, I know like David's one of those guys. I know he is that he was like, uh, he was like so paranoid about that tear just being like, Oh, it's imperfect. And I'm like, you have no idea how perfect this is to me. This is special. I've never seen any of these books and, and never even held any of these books in person. And then to like have all these come to my house and have it. I'm going to pass out. Wasn't that insane. I thought so. And I still do. I'm, I, I have the Judge Dread book. 
up on my shelf right behind this camera and I work in this room and I live out there. So I'm constantly walking by and every time I have to go and put my hands on this Judge Dredd book. It's like I'm a Mormon and I just got married and I'm sticking my tongue down her throat at the altar. But I want to end this video with a, a sincere appeal. Lots of people think making a YouTube channel is all about reaching some sort of like financial goal. Like maybe if I do a YouTube channel, I can get comics for free. Maybe I can use the hobby to pay for the hobby. I'm here to call bullshit because the most rewarding part of being on YouTube isn't getting the hobby to fund the hobby. It isn't making any money that the comic book community on YouTube is actually special. They care about meeting each other and being friends and 20,000 subscriber channels every day help out channels that only have 20. It is really authentically the best collecting community you can be involved in. And so I'm inviting you, dear viewer, person who only has a phone and a dream. There are actual friends waiting on this side of the camera. And David is one of those people that I've met. This, this collection, this collection that bordered on act of kindness was only because he wants to see me be as thrilled as he knew I would be by sending me these books. So it's like, if you're on the fence at all about thinking of starting your own YouTube channel, come on in. The water's fine. Love you. Bye.